It's time for business news with Richard Southern. Now, how much does it cost to live in Toronto, Richard? That number, it just keeps going up, doesn't it? Yeah, the answer is a lot. Uh, more, more than I make in Erica. Uh, there is a new uh, number in as far as the amount you need to make an hour to just scrape by here in Toronto. And it's $25.05, just over 25 bucks an hour, according to the Ontario Living Wage Network. That's an increase of $2 over last year's minimum needed wage to scrape by. And it's certainly above the current minimum wage in Ontario, which stands at $16.55 per hour. Now, this group says in order to calculate this, it factored in all sorts of things like the cost of food, rent, transportation, clothing, childcare, internet, cell phone, and even expenses like you know, recreation and personal care. Uh, although we got the highest uh, amount needed uh, per hour in Toronto, Ottawa saw the largest increase year over year with a 12% jump. You need $21.95 an hour to scrape by in the nation's capital. Ain't oh, cheap goodness. these days, is it, Erica? No, and yeah, rents especially, they just keep skyrocketing, don't they? All right, how do you respond mm -hmm. to criticism at work? The head of a major TV network is giving a good example of what not to do. Start a flame war. I love this story. The CEO of HBO admitted to creating fake Twitter accounts to go after uh, TV reviewers who had negative things to say about HBO shows. Casey uh, Bolas is his name, and he issued an apology after a recent report exposed his behavior. Erica, he said, quote, I was working from home and doing an unhealthy amount of scrolling through Twitter, and I came up with a very dumb idea to vent my frustration. What do you think of that one? Uh, that's what happens when you spend too much time at home and you're just looking at negative things all the time. Just, yeah. Fortunately, I don't, I don't need to do that as regards uh, you and I because we have z zero criticism of us. So there's no yeah, critics out Yeah, nobody ever so says anything we're, bad We're in good us. shape. We're fine. <laughs> no. Okay, finally, one of the most valuable startup companies in U.S. history has fallen on rough times, Richard. Boy, we're talking about WeWork, Erica, which uh, started back in 2010, and it was this sort of uh, shared workspace idea whereby for a membership fee, you could walk into any of their open office spaces and use it as if it were your own office. It was valued in 2019 at $47 billion, this company, but then along came the pandemic. Nobody was going into any offices, and this company got in big trouble. It now reportedly has $13 billion in long-term leases on the books, has over 700 locations worldwide, including eight spaces right here in Toronto. Not yet clear what's going to happen to those WeWork spaces here in the city of Toronto, but certainly some very troubling news for this once mighty tech startup, Erica.